Hey guys, welcome back to a very special Ace Comic Con edition of the Chuckload of Comics show. If you're coming to Ace Comic Con in Boston, we're breaking down all the fun things. You know there's photos, you know there's autographs, but we're going to break down all the other fun uh, show floor exhibits, all the fun stuff going on at Ace Comic Con in two weeks. It is. We are almost at Ace Comic Con time. Did you say two weeks? Who is that? Oh Joining us here goodness. in the studio for the first time in a long time, our good friend Lewis. How's it going, Lewis? Oh, it's going great. Happy to be here, Chuck. <laughs> so glad you came back, man. Oh, thank you, Shauna. I haven't been on here in a long time. And I'll tell you what, this weather out here is fantastic. <laughs> Sad Happy news. Unfortunately, Lewis, you're not going to be joining us at Ace Comic Con. Oh, no, no, no. That is correct. I have a show that I have to go to. It's called the Villain Arts Tattoo Expo. It's going to be here in Rosemont. It's going to be awesome. So if you guys aren't coming to Boston, go to the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center, the Tattoo Expo. If we weren't going to Ace, we would be going to the Tattoo Absolutely. Expo with you, Lewis. I know, man. Lewis, like I said, it's so good to see you again. Oh, thank you. You guys are really going to miss out. I'm going to be having my back piece worked on. All this hair is going to be gone. So they have to what? shave you uh, in order to uh, to get a, a proper back piece? Oh, yeah. The back piece is going to go from neck to butt crack, Chuck. Wow. So I have to, yep, I have to be shaved almost completely. <laughs> well, big, big follow-up on a future episode of Chuck Loader Comics. Uh, Lewis, we want to see your back piece. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Ace Comic-Con, guys. If you're attending Ace Comic-Con and you've never been before, there's a lot to do besides just photo ops, besides uh, just uh, autographs and stuff. Uh, they've got a veritable smorgasbord of Marvel guests who are coming. Uh, you know, Chris Hemsworth, who... Uh, Thor? Thor's uh, going to be there? Uh, Thor's going to be there. Freaking Tessa Thompson's going to be there. All these people are going to be there. But what they've never done before is they're, they've got a, a, a massive chunk of Star Wars guests. Yeah. They've never dipped into the Star Wars universe until this year. Very excited. Um, we're going to kind of break down some of the main stage. You know, there's always they're famous for their main stage panels. Right. Uh, but a lot of people don't know there's two different stages. We're going to break down what's going on in the main stage, but also what's going on on the second stage, all included... In your ticket price, guys. On the main stage, um, these are unofficial, <laughs> so I'm not going to give you the exact times and dates, but Carrie Russell yeah. from uh, Rise of Skywalker, she's got a panel on one of the days, a Ewan McGregor panel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for Lewis, this. Lewis, Obi-Wan Kenobi has got his own panel uh, at Star Wars, or Star Wars Celebration, at, uh, at uh, Ace, Ace Comic Con. Ace Comic Con, can you oh. believe it? Hello there. <laughs> Am I saying it right? Is that what he says? Hello there. Hello, Hello there. there. All of you uh, <laughs> fans of the Harry Potter universe, Rupert, Grant, and Bonnie Wright are going to be doing a combo panel. Too cool. On one of the days. OMG. OMG. But this one's this one I love. They got a panel that's going to be called the Revengers panel. Nice. It's going to star Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson, and Tom Hiddleston in the Revengers panel. Panel. That's an awesome lineup, Lewis. No kidding, man. What do you think about that lineup, Lewis? God, I love that movie. That's going to be <laughs> fantastic. Well, unfortunately, like we said before, you're going to miss it, but... You're going to miss it. We'll, we'll, we'll tape it for yeah, you. We'll, we'll... Oh, yeah. I'll watch the feedback from your guys' show on YouTube. <laughs> it's going to be great. Another phenomenal team-up panel on the main stage. They've got Chris Evans and Jake Gyllenhaal. Sweet. Mysterio and Captain America are going to take the stage together what? on one of the days. That's going to be awesome. I remember last year's days, uh, they had the uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Tom Holland panel. It was, was one of my fun. favorite panels of the entire time. Oh, so, yeah. Those guys get along super great. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Surprising, though. This this kind of bummed me out. There's not going to be a Hayden Christensen what? panel. That is so Hayden rude. Christensen doing the convention circuit, and he's not doing a panel, unfortunately, probably because he's got so many autographs, so many photo yeah. ops. Couldn't quite pencil in a panel with uh, Anakin Skywalker. Kind yeah. of a bummer, Lewis. Bummer. I know. He, he didn't do a panel at Star Wars Celebration either. He I wonder didn't. If, I wonder if it's just him, like if he's got the just nerves. Just not really into doing panels, I, I guess? Know. Maybe. Well, so that's all going on on the main <laughs> stage, guys. Of course, it's uh, included in your ticket prices. There's enough seating for just about everybody at these panels, so go see the, the large stage panels. But... Like I said before, there's also a whole second stage, a smaller stage that's going to be hosted and moderated by me. ours truly. Oh, wait. No, not me. Sorry. <laughs> the P uh, we, uh, Chuck Loader Comic Show, is going to be moderating the panels on the small stage. We're yeah, going to go ahead and break buddy. them all down for you. If you're coming on Friday, kicking off the entire con is uh, the people at Villain Arts Tattoo uh, Universe. We're doing a tattooing in nerd culture. We're going to get them there. We're going to be talking about like how... Uh, tattoos kind of made their way into the Comic Cons because if you've been to just about any Comic Con in America, you've seen that there's now tattoo 
uh, sections. Yeah, that's really cool. That's it's true. Ink- Maybe I should go get tattooed at Ace. Right? You should. By Dude, the Ink Fusion crew. <laughs> that's true. I think they're really missing out on the opportunity to call the tattoo area Tatooine. Tatooine. Right? Damn it, that was oh, a good idea. Oh, Lewis, man, you're genius. So if you have any questions for, you know, like if you want to book an appointment at uh, Ace Comic Con, come to. It's going to be at 730 uh, on the small stage on Fridays. It's first panel. Uh, it's going to be an audience Q&A. So if you have any questions about getting a tattoo at the show, definitely check out that panel on the small stage. The other thing we're, we're working on, this is an unofficial, <laughs> we're still working on it, but we're trying to get Ray Park. Oh my gosh, that'd be awesome. Mr. Darth Maul himself. You know, he played Toad in the original X-Men movie. See, oh, that's right. He did. He yeah. did. Well, we're hoping to do that at 9 o'clock on Friday. It's not official. It's not on the schedule yet, but we're working with his people. Hopefully, we can do a Ray Park panel. That would be so 9 cool. 9 o'clock on Friday. So more uh, info on that uh, on the Chuck Loader Comics webpage and also on our Facebook. So, Ooh, maybe you'll be able to get him to do some sweet double lightsaber moves. That would be awesome. Without right? a doubt. I'm just going to bring him a mop. Come down, Lewis. Lewis, you'll Calm be down. Just Sorry. That's just Friday, Lewis. There's so much more. Getting into Saturday. I know, uh, right? Uh, I ki- love that movie, man. <laughs> kicking off the uh, Saturday panels on the small stage. We're kicking it off at 11 o'clock with 30 Years at Lucas Films, a conversation with Matthew Wood. Sweet. Matthew Wood is the head of uh, audio engineering. He's the sound effects guy. He did all the. He did the voice for uh, General Grievous. He's done voices for Stormtroopers. He was the voice of the little Jawas in the Mandalorian. He's done tons of voiceover work, Too and so we're going to cool. talk about all that. He's been working at Lucasfilms for thirty years. That's crazy. He doesn't seem old enough to have been working. He started there for when he was years. a kid, man. Right? He started like way like in prequel time. That's they got to awesome. be like best friends down there, you know? Right. They know each other's coffee orders. What kind of food you order <laughs> on Mondays? What do you think they eat down at Lucas Farms? I think they eat uh, greens and uh, a gluten-free uh, paste. And blue milk. Uh, one quarter portion only, though. <laughs> uh, seared wampat. You only get one quarter seared portion. Wampat, exactly. So that's that's going on at 11 o'clock on the small stage. <laughs> right after that, at 1230, we're sitting down with uh, J.M. Dematis, guys. This guy so is going to talk about all the legendary comic books he did, including Craven's Last Hunt, one Woo-hoo. of the most uh, iconic and famous Star, or Star Wars Spider-Man comics of all time. We're going to talk about his entire career, his entire catalog. Don't miss that one. That's going to just be a deep dive in old school comics, man. I can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. Yet again, Lewis, let's see what you're missing. But again, you're going to be at Villain Arts. It's going to be fine. I know. (laughs) Well, right after that, um, yours truly is going to be heading to the main stage. I'm going to be uh, hosting and moderating the cosplay contest, the main stage Ace Comic Con cosplay contest. They do it every year. It's always fun. You always get just a whole menagerie of uh, uh, guests and stuff up on the main stage. They're giving away some amazing prizes. Love it. So cosplay contest, I believe it's going on at 1.30 30 or 145 on the main stage. Awesome. And if you can't make that, we're doing a kids cosplay contest on the small stage at the exact same time. So all, if, you, if you're bringing a child in a costume, sign them up for the kids cosplay contest uh, at Ace Central uh, when you get to Ace Comic Con. So after that, going right back to the small stage, we are sitting down with Axel Alonzo. So we Former editor-in-chief of Marvel. Uh, Lewis, I know you were a big fan of the the time of Marvel when they did the Secret Wars, when they did the All New, All Different, they did uh-huh. the Marvel Now. That was all under the uh, the, the the regime of Axel Alonzo. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> take some of my favorite stories. Oh, maybe I'll task you guys to get them signed by all these cool dudes. Absolutely, bud. That's going to be a blast. <laughs> I really want to talk to him because that was an interesting time uh, in comics. No kidding. Like, that whole... Like, they changed everything. It took years and years to lead up to that Secret Wars. So we're going to talk in great detail about that and a lot more with Axel Alonso. Too cool, man. After that, there's uh, something on the small stage called Extra Life Gaming Panel. They're going to be talking gaming at 4.30 um, on the small stage. And right after that, wrapping up the night on Saturday, we got a podcaster coming out. It's the Nerd Talk Podcast uh, hosted by Remington Keys. That's going to be going on from 6 to 7. So see a live podcast on the small stage, wrapping up the day on Saturday. Then everybody goes back to their hotel, everybody gets a good night's sleep, (laughs) and kicking off Sunday, one that I'm really, really excited about. All of you comic book creators, would-be comic book creators, we got a three-way panel. Uh, It's going to be called Breaking Into Comics. We're going to be talking to a lot of really awesome uh, uh, comic book creators. Ming Doyle, you know, she did the DC um, Anatomy 
of a metahuman. We got Erica Henderson coming. She does uh, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. We got Andrew McLean, the guy who made Headlopper. It's going to be a big roundtable discussion of how these people got into comics. That's um, going to be so much fun. Did you, say Ma- did you say McLean? McLean? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's McLean. Might I think be McLean. it's McLean. But yeah, McLean. That would be cool. So Ooh. check that out. Find out how to break into <laughs> comics. Here's some really interesting stories. Industry talk. It's going to be a fun little industry roundtable. Yeah. Right after that at 1230 on the small stage, we have got guitarist and artist Mr. Billy Martin. How cool is that? That's going to be a blast. Billy Martin was the guitarist for the uh, band Good Charlotte, but then he went on to become a really successful comic book artist. He's done stuff uh, with X-Men Gold, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He's got really interesting kind of story of how he kind of broke out from from being in a band, from being a guitarist in a signed band, to breaking into the industry. That's awesome. Really interesting art style. If you've never seen any Billy Martin's art, really, really neat uh, angular kind of style yeah. that, he, that, he, that he illustrates in. Very cool. Uh, right after that, guys, <laughs> at uh, 2 o'clock on the small stage, we're doing another kids' costume contest. Oh, nice. Oh, man, these kids are going to smash it. They have the <laughs> coolest costumes. So if you're bringing a child on Sunday, sign them up for the kids' costume contest. Lewis, I wish you could come for that because you would crush it. Right? I think you could pass as a child, even though I think you're like, what, 40 years old? <laughs> hey, man, actually 37. Oh, nice. I could wear my whole shirt if I if I was going, man. Look, I, I'm already a step there. That's right. I know. I could totally see it. So rounding out the small stage panels, our best bud in the whole wide world, uh, fan artist, poster artist, Mr. Boss Logic. Woohoo! Three o'clock on the small stage. Sit down for a nice little Q&A. We're going to talk about uh, that poster he did with Jim Lee of Black Adam. Yeah. All the stuff he's working on, all the teaser posters. You know Boss Logic. Every time you see a poster... Somebody makes a, uh, a, 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 a an announcement that someone's going to be like uh, Jamie Foxx and Spawn. Uh-huh. One, oh, yeah. a, one hour later, Boss Logic's got a poster up there on up. the internet. Oh yeah, he conceptualizes rather quickly. Uh, I know it's too cool. Amazing work, really. So can't wait to sit down. We sat down with <laughs> Boss Logic at Ace uh, last year in uh, Chicago. He's done a lot since the last time we talked. So that's going to be a really, really fun one at 3 o'clock on the small stage. And so that's going to wrap up the small stage stuff. But there's still so many other cool things you can see at Ace Comic Con. Antiques Roadshow. What? They're bringing Antiques Roadshow to Ace Northeast in Boston. What the heck was that noise there? (laughs) Lewis, what are you doing over there, man? Oh, sorry, man. I tripped over some of your wires over here. I got excited at Antiques Roadshow. Are you kidding me? Some of my cousins are old puppets. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's going to be, you know, a lot of people bringing their comics in there, getting comics books uh, oh, appraised yeah. and that's stuff. So that's, I think that's actually on the main stage is the Antiques Roadshow. Oh, that's cool. Obviously, we got the big cosplay contest. We talked at, uh, talked about it at like 1.30 on Saturday. Mm-hmm. There's an artist panel going on um, on the main stage. A lot of the top names in comic book art are going to be taking the stage, showing off some of their amazing work, maybe even doing some live sketches. Too cool. So long story short, guys, there is a ton of to do at Ace Comcat. It's not just photo ops. It's not just autographs. Yeah. That, I haven't even scratched the surface on Artist Alley. Oh all the gosh. amazing guests that are coming to Artist Alley. All the amazing exhibitors. All the photo op opportunities. So if you've never been to Ace, there is so much to do. If you weren't planning on going all three days, I highly advise you go all three days. Absolutely. It's going to be a blast. All about Artist Alley, man. All that artwork is super awesome. I can't believe I'm not going to be there. Ah! <laughs> There's so much to do at Ace Comic Con, guys. If you've never been, you're gonna you're gonna fall in love. You're gonna go every single year. They're famous for their celebrity guests, but there's tons more to do. So find Chuckload of Comics all weekend long on the small stage. Come up and say hi. If you're watching the show, let us know what you think about uh, uh, Lewis the Puppet over here. Oh yeah, Lewis. Thanks I don't mean so to talk down again, to you, but... Lewis. Wait a minute. I'm a puppet. No. Oh no, no. Metaphorically. You're... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're a puppet, man. <laughs> so, Lewis, I want to thank you for coming and joining us talking about Ace Comic Con. Oh yeah, thanks. I had a great time. Uh, happy to be here, and I hope I can uh, come back uh, quite often. Oh, you are welcome anytime, buddy. Oh, thanks, Shauna. Have an awesome, <laughs> awesome time at the Villain Arts Tattoo Expo going on in Chicago the weekend of Ace Boston. But you guys, come find us at Ace Boston two weeks from now. Ace Northeast, Ace Comic Con Northeast. Find us on the small stage. Come up and say hi. Let us know what you thought about this show. And take a second and click that subscribe button. Join us here every single Sunday for a week in review. All the nerdy headlines going on over the past seven days. We break it down for you every single week and right here on Chuck Load of Comics. So click the subscribe button. Join us here every week. And we will see you guys next week and at Ace Comic Con in two weeks. Woo-hoo! Have a fantastic week, guys. We will see you in Boston.
Bye-bye. Bye, guys.